multiple sclerosis, a disease without a cure that affects roughly one million Americans, is causing Mainers to head south of the border to get the care they need. The progressive nature of the illness has led more patients to seek out a risky experimental treatment called HSCT. Despite the risks and recent violence in Mexico, patients say the treatment offers the only real hope to potentially stop the disease in its tracks. It's a journey two Maine women had to take to get better. New Center Maine's Vivian Lee has their story. When we first met Anna Mosca last summer, she was struggling to walk amid numbness, balance, and fatigue issues, symptoms that forced her to give up a successful dog grooming business. The mother of two has multiple sclerosis, which uses your own immune system to attack the brain and central nervous system. Now, Anna can walk up the stairs independently and take care of her family, something she hadn't been able to do for nearly a year. I don't have to nap anymore during the day. Um, or rest from the fatigue, it's, it's like I'm a whole new person. Anna has relapsing remitting MS, a type of MS where symptoms get worse, followed by some improvements. Late last year, Anna traveled to Pueblo, Mexico for a risky and experimental treatment, hemotopietic stem cell transplantation known as HSCT. It's only available in the U.S. for patients in clinical trials, but Anna was not considered a candidate. HSCT wipes out the patient's immune system with chemotherapy and reboots it with the patient's own stem cells so it stops attacking the central nervous system. Now, during the treatment, Anna was tired and lost her hair, but she did start seeing some improvements. I could spin around in a circle and not be dizzy. The 28-day treatment, which cost between fifty dollars to $60,000, was administered at Clinica Ruiz, where nearly half of the patients are from the U.S. Now, the treatment is not covered by insurance. Run by Dr. Guillermo Ruiz Arguez, a hematologist trained at the Mayo Clinic, the clinic is located more than 600 miles from the U.S.-Mexico border, where recent kidnapping and killings of four Americans have raised concerns about the safety of travel to the country. Anna says there was armed security personnel at the clinic 24-7. I never saw or heard anything that made me feel unsafe. Seeing Anna's progress on social media inspired Amy Gaudet to research the clinic. The level of care they offer um, and their success rates, um, it was obvious that was the choice. Amy has primary progressive MS that can lead to damage in and around the nerves in the brain and spinal cord. Because of difficulties with balance, numbness, and pain, Amy has to use a walker just to get around. Medication and treatment available here in the U.S. have given her only minimal relief to slowing down symptoms. We spoke with Amy and her husband before they left for Mexico in early March. It could stop this dead in its tracks, potentially. Mm -hmm. She could get better a little bit. And that's, we're just looking for that little bit of hope. Back in Brownfield, Anna is on antivirals and antibiotics to help rebuild her immune system. And she hopes to reopen her grooming business in the next few months, living proof that taking your life back from MS. This is something that absolutely does work, that you can reboot your immune system. And this needs to be accessible to more people. Is possible. Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine. The FDA has warned patients about receiving treatment overseas that have not been approved here in the U.S.